Okay, so if you saw my uh, Quipper Catchable cards yesterday, you'll see that I've got a new table. I may need to shift things up a bit. There's stuff everywhere because I had to clear off the old desk. I did show the photograph yesterday, but I'll show it again here. This is how cluttered the um, desk base became. Um, and it was a lot smaller than the table that I've got here. Um, everything has come off and it is all here stacked up. Now, everything that's here is not going to go back onto that table. I need space to work, to read my cards, etc. So it's gonna be a case of what I can put on, I will, and what um, I'm not going to. I, I, I do have shelves that go up against the wall. This is a really nice, sturdy table. I like the dark wood because it matches the dark wood of my sacred space. As you can see there, ignore this. This is the shelving unit, the drawers that go under the table. But yeah, it's got the same dark wood as the furniture here. So I feel like it's uh, kind of in keeping. So now begins the task of bringing all this stuff into place here. Okay, so first things first is the centerpiece, which is my two current working decks. Oh my God, they look so lost on this, <laughs> this large table. I have space, people. Um, I mean, it will look different when it's got the shelves put at the back and things around it, but I wanna try and keep the front part there will be bits at the end, like incense and crystals and my um, card stand. But I want to keep the main bit uh, free, as free as possible. So this is a little stand. I've had for about a year. My stepdad made it. Stands upright, different levels. You can alter it at the back. Um, but in there, it's got the Moon Baby Tarot and the Lion's Gateway Tarot and these beautiful Kelly pouches, Kelly Bear's pouches. Um, and yeah, I want to be able to sit here and just grab for the decks. I will have shelving here with other decks on that I'm using too. I also want to make sure my um, beautiful Gaia rose crystal statue has pride of place. So I do have this little, this little stand that she can go on. And then we'll put a few little offerings and things for her around her there so she'll be there and then that side I want to put my grounding crystal which I hope I'm not making you all dizzy is here this is the one I bought in um, Glastonbury last year for a really decent prize prize price so that actually needs a wooden mat to stand on so it doesn't scratch so that can be either either side next thing is to put the drawers underneath let's get some drawers underneath okay so so far all i've decided on is the back wall which is still giving me quite a lot of space i've stripped back as you'll see from the original photo um, things that are going on this back wall here notice the gap here as well that's because um that space is reserved for the beautiful card that naomi hewitt sent me um when she won the christmas giveaway competition and it's the uh, moon gazing hair in front of the glastonbury tour so i just need to get a frame for that and that's going uh, that's going there so uh, with her other one actually that she did a few years ago so on my back wall I've just got my table lamp and then I've got um, some of my favorite decks that are in Kelly pouches here the decks that I tend to grab for now they were this way on because of space so as I sat on camera you could see them um, 
spaced out here um, but they fit nicely now against the back wall the two that I mentioned um, I have put a little cloth out which has got the sword cup wand and pentacle and um, just for representation really my Gaia goddess she's gonna have a little crystal ball in front of a little crystal sphere and then I put my bell there it sits quite nicely there it's not knocking anything or so that's what you hear at the beginning of videos so that's that on the top shelf here again just some favorite decks because decks tend to live on my shelving um, but the ones that I grab for the most I need to have around me on my desk so a Marseille deck here which is the um, Tarot Desert Oak Arcs Smoke, Ash and Embers Oak, Ash and Thorn so the two decks by Stephanie then Shadowlands and then I've got my Carol Hertz deck so this one in the faux suede is Starlight and then the um, sorry the Illuminated and then the Starlight um, this is my modified version of Crystal Visions and then two Oracle decks that I grab for all the time. One is um, the Goddess Love and the Goddess Dream combined by Wendy Andrew and the other one is Anna Torian's um, Oracle of Echoes, which I adore. Then down here some journals. This one is the journal for Mildred Payne's Pocket Oracle, which was written out bills and car stuff you know because this is a working desk as well my midori the tarot bible which is just a quick reference i haven't looked at that for a few years but um it's the one i always recommend people start out with and then in this little chest here is an old um it's a it's an actual rws rws um, Marseille that was aged and bashed and got these little smudges and gold. It's really gorgeous. Um, and it was a gift from Kelly Bear. So I sent her the deck and she, what she calls destroyer, destroyer of deck, she destroyed it, but it's a great little deck. So I love that. Then my grab decks, these are the ones, I'm just gonna put some crystals on when I take them out of the bags, because I put my crystals away for safekeeping while I did this. So it's my Blushing Fool, my 1JJ Smith Vintage for Mate Playing Cards and the um, Oracle X, which is a hundred of those cards. Water, so we've got uh, White Springs Water and Chalice Well Water, some sprays, a few decks along the bottom that are in bags. And that is as much as I'm gonna put on the back wall. So that gives me some space. There's still a ton of stuff here. Um, but lots of it's going to go into storage. I will put some things at the side, like my incense bowl, um, my card uh, stand holder and things like that. But I want a lot of space to work at in the middle. Okay, so I think I have the desk as I want it. Um, lots of space lots of space it feels like such a luxury after being so hemmed in um i do have a little gap at the top because i put my hermit box up there so i could put something there see i always try and fill gaps <laughs> um but yeah so the back wall is done minus the space for the picture might nip out actually um to boots in a minute and uh, pick a frame up um but the things that I wanted to add, so my candle, I love this candle holder. It's also got a bowl which has some earthy type stones and crystals in, like this huge hag stone here, uh, desert rose, um, lots of petrified wood and bronzy pieces. I've got my picture of Pixie, which was right up at the top. So that's come down. I had to put my little duck back on the table. So that was from uh, Chris, Chris Kelly, at Elemental Cartomancy. So I've got my grounding crystal. Um, I've had to put Chester here. Uh, Chester will always live on my desk. I adore him. And this was from the lovely Anne Fort who uh, made this. And he looks so vintage with his um, fur kind of missing in parts. 
um, and is really heavy, but he's gorgeous. So Chester is on the desk. Um, I've already mentioned the goddess. I put a little sphere in front of her. My incense bath to drop the smokeless incense in, which I love, I love the cedarwood one. This little box in the corner here is my dowsing crystal. It's my favorite dowsing crystal. And it was the one that Twist, uh, Twist the Leaf made for me, sent it. And then I've got my uh, card stand holder here uh, with today's cards. So there we have it. That is my new reading space. Lots of space for me to spread out. On the days that I work from home, I can set my laptop up. I can have room at the side of me for my diary and folders and things like that. So I'm really, really pleased with the end result. Thank you for watching, everybody. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be. Okay, so just before I go, I did just nip to boots. It took me two minutes um, to get this frame. Isn't that a gorgeous picture that Naomi did? I bought a black frame for that because of the silhouettes. It really makes the silhouette stand out as well of the, the tree, the hair and the tall. Um, but while I was there, I also bought a silver frame and candles blown out because I don't leave the house with candles burning. Um, I got a copy, because uh, I've got this on my phone, so I got a copy uh, of my mum, a photograph of my mum, and then I bought this beautiful uh, silver frame so that I have uh, mum's energy with me too when I'm doing my reading. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you.